unique about the project, I think, was that it was it was new. It hadn't been done before, uh, which is what projects are all about. It was a huge engineering challenge, uh, and it was put together very quickly, uh, very uh, very well. It came in under budget. Um, a lot of risks were managed, and it was delivered on time and on budget uh, by an incredible team of professionals. I'm delighted, um, somewhat relieved, um, but no, I'm incredibly delighted to be honoured with this uh, award um, for Airgrid. I'm really pleased and pleased for the team um, because this was all about a team, a team of professionals who delivered over a six year period to deliver this fantastic infrastructure in record time. I think I've been very lucky in my career to date with where I've worked. I'm working in renewable energy in a cutting edge technology business. Um, we're really pushing the boundaries of, of engineering and I've had the chance to be part of that since I started my career. So. I think I've been given the breadth of experience to date that let me show my skills and uh, I think it's something that's going to be useful for Ireland's future so it was, I guess the, the, the award recognises the, the direction my career has gone as well as what I've done in it myself. I'm really humbled and flattered to be awarded this very, very fine award. I have great respect for engineering. I'm a trained engineer. I, engin I think engineers make a huge contribution to Irish society. Years ago I was President of Engineers Ireland and I saw it firsthand the huge contribution engineers make to our social economic development. And I think I have done as best, best I could to try to further that work. Effectively, what we're doing is we're creating um, a utility, um, probably on a size and scale, pretty much like the ESB, um, in about 18 months or two years, which is a phenomenal undertaking um, from a standing start. Back in April um, 2012, uh, government asked us to get involved and to set up the utility, so we've been working very hard on it since. And we are still on programme to take over the running and the operational running of the assets from January 1 of next year, of, of 2013, or 2014, sorry. Um, we currently have somewhere between 350 and 400 people working on the project. Uh, and out of that will emerge the utility called Irish Water. So it is a very challenging, very exhilarating and very exciting project to be involved in. The Titanic Belfast definitely hit a chord with everybody throughout the island of Ireland. And I think it just everybody can relate to it. And that's probably the main reason why, that it's an icon we designed an icon, we're very proud of it, and we've been touring the country giving the papers and presentations, and it's just been one of those things. We're very, very proud that we've, got, we've won this award. We've put in a, a concerted effort over the last two to three years in the development of a robust a CPD process in the company, and uh, we were audited against that. We were accredited as CPD employers, and um, through that then we were able to put in a, a strong application to this particular competition and we were delighted to be joint winners with, with Abbott. Uh, CPD for us was critical. We're go embarking on a lot of change in the company, implementing lean processes to be competitive on the international stage and CPD for us became a cornerstone of that. We were delighted to win in so far as we put a lot of effort into developing our, all our people within the plants and within the engineering group. We continuously exposed them to um, to new challenges and we um, challenge them to grow on um, with, with new projects with new innovations um, in a the market we operate in it's important that we keep competitive and we maintain that competitiveness through working with our engineers. IT Sligo has been involved in online learning for 10 years and in that time technology has progressed quite quite a lot so we are now currently able to deliver our online labs remotely to our students. So there is a lot of practical elements to our engineering course, courses in general. So with this technology, we can now deliver any of these physical labs remotely to our students from anywhere in the country. Well, obviously we're in difficult economic times at the moment, but I think there's no doubt that in terms of water services infrastructure in particular, there's been a lack of investment over a long number of years. And there's a deficit now that has to be, uh, has to be met and with I suppose with, the, um, with Irish Water coming into being in the near future, hopefully that's going to make, mean a major change in terms of investment going forward and I think we can all look forward uh, positively uh, 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 when that change actually takes place. First of all, I, I think our project, um, it, has been, it has been a mission over the fi last five years to create a product that creates uh, power at half the cost, or 30% cheaper than fossil fuels, and it's it's a need that not just Ireland needs, but globally we need. And uh, we're lucky to be an Irish company that has come up with an idea, that's followed it through from prototype stage to commercialisation, and we're going to be in a position to offer Joe Public this product uh, in 2014, where they have an opportunity to buy renewable energy 
at 30 percent cheaper than the utilities can supply it at. so it, it, it was good and it's a little bit of a roller coaster for air synergy at the moment but uh look at we're never going to offer the war but we're glad we won it but we understand why you want it Thank a you. range of of um of, of activities and uh um, events that we put on in the Thomond region uh, for engineers I think there was quite a broad range that covered um, electrical computing mechanical um, energy as well as the construction and civil um, um, aspects of engineering it involves the Highlands water scheme in Lesotho in southern Africa which is based in a small mountainous kingdom where they gather the water in uh, the mountains they get rain in the summer and snow in the winter so there's no problem with supply they dam the water and then they drive tunnels through the mountains and supply it into South Africa and flows into the Val Dam and feeds the Johannesburg area. So it's for the, the South Africans actually pay for the capital cost of this project and the Lesotho government then also gets a, a, a benefit from the cost per cubic meters of water supplied. So it's a massive engineering project, dams, tunnels, roads, infrastructure and so on and very interesting obviously to be involved in. My project is based on an automation project for Zoom Orthopedics based in Shannon County Clare. Um, basically the project uh, encapsulated uh, ultrasonic cleaning and hand finishing processes into one solid automation project. The project was a loader mounted moisture meter for straw so when you're picking up a bale of straw you can tell the moisture of it for quality control and for also for safety because they can go on fire if the moisture is too high in them. Up until that, everything was handheld and you had to actually get out of the tractor and get down and test the bale, whereas my product actually you did it from the cab of the tractor and it was displayed on a monitor in the tractor rather than having to get out. Mm -hmm.